texts. Hopefully things are okay. Welcome back. We're just gonna have some fun here. I'm totally not be trying to snipe vSim or anything. Because I know he's playing the three minute pool. Let's play some three minute. Um, Alright, so that's King Pawn. Alright. Jeez, my head hurts already. Um, Alright, Bishop C5? No. This, no? This bishop? Over here? Okay. Alright. Jeez, my head hurts. <laughs> How do you play this? Uh, shit. <laughs> okay, pot over here. Alright, yeah, there's the threat to the king. That's true. Um, okay. What kind of gambit is this? This is like an Evans gambit that's gone horribly wrong, I think. At least I think this is wrong. Correct me if I'm mistaken. I probably am. Um, Alright, so let's fork the bishop and the queen uh, before things get too serious. He's gonna check me. Holy shnikes, this is way more difficult than I remember it being. Or was I just more awake last time I did this? I can't tell. But that, and I didn't expect my opponent to go all out for an attack right in the opening. Which is a bit surprising to me. Um, Alright, so I'm guessing right. And here we hit the bishop and then exchange, and then exchange again. Okay. Um, it's not a free pawn or anything, but I think I've got a decent position. Um, if I can just remember to use all my pieces. Right. Um, hmm. Alright, you can attack stuff, I can attack stuff. Everything's attacked. I think he's going to take my knight. Alright, apparently not. So I guess I take this knight, and then I take this rook, and be prepared to... Oh! Whoa! Okay! Ha! Huh. Did not expect to win so easily. Am I even better here? Wait. Did I just miscount material? I actually won a piece there? Wait, how? How did I win a piece? Oh, because... Okay, he hung uh, this knight here. Um, yeah, I just moved in and took it. Um, that's what happened. Okay. That makes sense. Um, I didn't expect that, but I'll take it. <sighs> but we're totally not trying to snipe VSIM here or anything. Um, that would be silly. Even though he's playing the three-minute pool, and we're playing the three-minute pool. That's just a coincidence. Um, Alright. Um, this bishop over here? Yeah. Okay, and then we castle... How do we castle? No. Oh, I pushed the wrong pawn. Wait, is this a this is a queen pawn opening? Okay, that explains a lot. Oh, <laughs> I 
I'm not claiming that that person um, having the discussion was me. Because Reddit's anonymous and all that, you know. But that was an interesting discussion that somebody was having. Uh, yeah, just proving that there was a bot farm. That was pretty fantastic. Uh. All right, so I'm not saying it was me. I would kind of go against the whole thing about Reddit being anonymous. I'm not making that claim. Uh, still is a pretty funny discussion, whoever was having it. Okay, so... Only because I lack an idea. Let's go back. Damn it! No, this one. This one go forward. Um, okay. And then we push this, I guess? No. That would be too risky. How about one square? Okay. Maybe I could win a pawn? Let's see. Let's take this. Take it again. All right. Uh, wait. Oh, the pawn's here. I knew that. All right. How about this square for a night? Okay. Whoops. Let's move my queen over. Get out of dodge. Take my knight. Well, I, I mean, that's not like the only point, but it's it's something that people value there. Um. Wait, where's my queen? How do I to protect it? Oh, this, this is how I protect it. Okay. Okay, I landed that on the correct square. Aye. Uh, this needs to go back one in order to go forward again. Um, I'm guessing he moves his knight? No. I guessed incorrectly. Okay, now he moves his knight. Oh, this is tricky. All right, so let's go. Um, ooh, this is not good. Well, this might work. Assuming I can remember how the pieces move. need to take that and then run this. Oops, that's not my king. Alright. You got me. I'll have to use an increment. Oh well. I tried. I should play with an increment, though. 
Um, oh, I get the white pieces this time. All right, and then just check. And we just try to trade some pieces, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe this is the chess of inverted pieces. Yeah, something like that. Something like that's going on here. We're having some fun. We don't do this too often because it does not help the rating at all. Um, but it's fun to do. Just don't expect to win doing this. Um, all right, he runs away. Come on, you know you want to, oh, he might actually sack. That sack would have been pretty good. All right, let's defend the pawn a different way. Just in case he does sack, I'm not losing all my stuff. Uh, and if he doesn't, I'm still doing great. Um... Fine, we'll step back. What if all other chess is inverted, and this is the way it's normally supposed to be played? Have we thought about that possibility? What if this is the right way to play chess? I'm not saying it is, but it could be. Couldn't it? Um... Hey, welcome Vsim. Uh creator of uh Dimitri Chess. The most wonderful chess commentator bot. Among other fantastic creations. Uh yeah. Okay, so how do I do this? Let's get the king to safety, I guess, cuz he's going to play his other rook over here. Yeah, he did that. So um, this is not my favorite position ever, but we'll play it. So, I mean, Mick's done this test before. He knows that he's able to chat, but I guess he forgot. That's okay. Um, okay, let's offer this trade once more, because he's going to run away again. He's not taking that, right? I'm just doing this to make him think. Like, this isn't even a good or bad trade on my part. It's just a trade. Something to make him think about. Oh, I should play my other rook to the center file. That would make sense. Why don't I do that? While he's dawdling around, maybe I could do something more productive than a perpetual chase. Um... Okay, so now we're in this quandary, where I've overextended, but I'm not going to admit it, because that's no fun. Instead, we're going to continue attacking. Um, so, this is the plan. He's probably going to put his bishop in the way, so I can't move this. Um, what? Wait. That's me just winning in exchange. Why do you do that? Oh, increment, excrement. Aren't these the same thing? Really, when you don't think about it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's um, my stuff's attacked. All my stuff's attacked. I should move my queen to defend the stuff. But that doesn't work. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, this is going to get sharp. We're going to go for it. Because why not? Alright. King over. King over again and again and again. And maybe I'm okay. 
yep, just keep walking the king. There's not much of a choice here. Let's go, king. You can do it. All right. Uh, let's hit the bishop. So he's got four pawns for the exchange. This is not my finest hour. Um, on the bright side, I'm attacking a piece, so there is that. All right. Can I win this? I've got an exchange for four pawns. Oh boy. Um, so I need to hit this bishop to gain a tempo to try to win the A pawn. Or this is just over. Oh, well he's not going to let me do that. So this is over. But let's pretend it isn't. Let's pretend we actually have something here. Let's go. Um... I'm not sure what I'm going to achieve by doing this, but we'll try it. Uh, okay. Just need to trade off all the pawns. Um, easy. Wait, where's my rook? Here's my rook. Right, so we need to go back. And I don't know what we're doing. Wait, if he steps his king up and does something rather careless. I might have an idea. Oh, that would be so good. Um, let's see if I can get him to fall for it. Because that's like my only idea in the position. Damn, he saw it. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm hosed. I might be able to win on time, but that's about it. Right. Right, right, right. So... Defend your pawn. All right. <laughs> we tried. We tried ever so hard to try to get that to work. Um, Okay, who thinks I'm going to win this? Because there is a two-second increment, but this guy's taking some time to make his moves, so there might be a chance. I should have taken this pawn, though. Like, if I wanted to really have a chance, pawn takes pawn check. Actually, that loses the rook, so this is forced. Um, still, we can try to make something of this. Okay. Push him. Push him, baby. I hear the saying goes. Yeah, just keep pushing him. Nothing can go wrong if you just keep pushing the pawns. I definitely can't set any tricks in this position. Alright. Oh, shoot. Well, okay. So much for me trying to set tricks. Um, is there a stalemate here? There's not. We're gonna win this, guys. We're gonna. We have the lone pawn. Um. We've totally got this. Oh, he found it. That was a close one. We took it to move sixty-eight. Um. Yeah, why is stalemate when you can win on time? Yeah, they're too good. Either that or I'm just too slow. We tried. We endeavored so mightily. Um, but what can you do? Yeah. 
I tried to make a stalemate of that. All right. Let's see. Now I have to remember which of these is a king pawn and which of these is a queen pawn. That's neither. Um, let's do a queen pawn. Okay. Come on, you know you want to. I'm just going to try to prevent him from doing a fianchetto. Um, but, so if he can't move this knight out because it gives away the square, then I've maybe complicated his journey a bit. He might fianchetto anyway. Wait, I'm preparing a queenside castle, apparently? Yeah, but I'm slowing down his castle, so I guess that's fine. Um, here. This looks like a good square for a knight. Why is this reverse? Um, well, it's just a bug. You know, this is the best way to play online chess. It really tries, it gives you a new perspective on the game. Um, I don't know how I, whether I can keep the puns coming like that, but the new perspective pun was pretty good. Um, this way, that way. Yeah, let's go this way. Wait. Now I can hit the rook with tempo. But more importantly, this kind of slows him down. And develops my rook. Yeah, now let's develop my rook. Oh, he's not just going to let me out like that. Oh, it would have been so nice if he did. Um, this maybe? I know he hits my knight, but I might have something here. Um, okay, let's just keep the development coming. So I'm threatening the rook. So he's probably going to take, there he goes, he takes my knight. I still might have threats on the rook, but either way my pieces are getting out. And he still hasn't castled yet. Um, so, how do I continue an attack here? Do I bring my knight out? He doesn't have any checks, so... Yeah, knight out looks fine. White just might manage to equalize this game. Okay. I mean, that is a move. Um. Hmm. Here, let's hit the queen. Why should I be the one making decisions? Let's let him decide what to do. I should be the one making decisions so I don't lose material, um, like I'm losing here. But let's just pretend that I did everything on purpose. Um, that wasn't a blunder, it was a sacrifice. Um, everything's fine. We got the knight pair that fully compensates for my loss of material. Um, Yeah, this mitigates the stream sniping, because nobody's going to look at this board. <laughs> um, hmm. 
All right, my knight's on the wrong square here. Let's go this way. Right, so... I guess I'll defend that. No sense making this easy for him. Um, right, another predictable move. Uh, this is not so good, but it's not terrible. This one's better. It's not actually have a threat. Okay. Uh, my threat's no good. He called my bluff. Alright, so I have to go back. Otherwise I get pinned. Here I'm only losing a pawn. The other way I'd lose considerably more. Um, yeah, this hurts. Okay. How do I do anything here? This position's garbage. I don't have any constructive moves in this position. So this were anti-chess, we'd totally be winning. So we just have to trick him into thinking it's anti-chess or something. Um, right, so I guess we'll go up this way. Now he doubles the rooks, and I have to... No, he doesn't do that just yet. He's saving that for a more exciting occasion. Okay, let's move the rook back into the corner. Now does he double the rooks? Come on. No, he's not doubling them. He keeps playing good moves. How can I respond when my opponent just keeps playing good moves? Oh! Wow! Okay! We've got a Grandmaster among us here, guys. <laughs> Not really, but... Yeah, that was a really good play. Um... Dang! Okay, I totally deserved that. Well played. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, fine, we'll play a queen pawn opening. Do I know any queen pawn openings? Um, maybe. Let's pretend I do. Maybe we get a Grunfeld in this game. That's not a Grunfeld. Um... That is free development for me, though. Because he can't push the pawn. This just loses a pawn. So, um, yeah, he totally can't do that. I only happen to know that because I've pushed that pawn before, and there's no way to rescue it. Um, so yeah, experience is the best teacher. Oh, alright, let's claim victory. Okay, cool. I don't know what that was about. Like... Yeah. I told you guys. We had that. It's a free pawn. If that weren't just such a terrible, atrocious blunder right in the opening, um, I might not have claimed it. But... You know... We gotta take a win when we have one. On the rare occasion that we actually play good moves. Um, is this a Bononi? Right? Are we in Bononi waters? What kind of Bononi is this? This feels like a Bononi where I'm 
not having any weaknesses, but just attacking. I like this kind of an Oni. Alright. It's a phony Benoni. Check. Check. Um, this doesn't win on the spot, but it's just, this puts some pressure on my opponent, so. Um, Hmm. How am I supposed to respond to that? Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Were you the one who gave away that material in the opening and disconnected on me? If so, I forgive you. I and my free rating points that I got from that game forgive you for that disconnection. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Really? That's not free material? I... I've made that gambit like a half a dozen times and it's never worked at all. Um, sorry. I didn't realize that I'm just bad at chess and that it's actually playable. I mean, I didn't realize that it's actually playable. We'll leave it there. Um, mm -mm. Here, let's pin this. Wait. Yeah, that rook move that he's got... Well, no. This rook move is losing a knight. Because I'm still attacking the knight. So... Uh, I don't think it's playable here. No, he, yeah. He has to deal with this threat first. Now, he might just... Okay. Well, you know me. I'm taking the material. This is too fun to not do. Alright, so let's do it. We're bound by honor to take it. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Um, I mean, we could take a look at it. I just, I'm very confused. It's not like this is a Budapest where you actually recover the pawn. This was some wonky, I don't know what. Um, okay, let's attack the rook, right? This is me just winning a piece. Okay, sure. Yeah. I don't know if I'm open... Let me figure out how to set my preferences and stuff. I usually don't leave myself wide open for challenges because then, like, everybody in the world challenges me. Wait, how do I get out of this? Like this, right? There's no way this could backfire. Except if he plays that. Um, then that could backfire. Um, Alright, well... Forget the extra piece. Let's just not get checkmated. Yeah, I'll see if I can figure out how to get my preferences changed to enable challenges. Ooh! Oh dear! Ouch! That was good. He got me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting wrecked here. Wow. Okay, that was a really nice use of a pin. Very instructive. Um, 
Maybe if I flatter him a bit, it will give away material. Uh, do I have to run back home here? Yeah. Let's just entomb the rook so I never get to move it again. Okay. Then we have to recapture this when he takes it. Then he's going to double the rooks, and I'm losing all my pawns. Um, huh. This is complicated. I know it looks simple, but... Um, I mean, I think I'm just losing everything here. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm right. Alright, let's wrap that up. Okay, let me see if I can figure out where my preferences page is at with my silly stream layout that hides the thing atop the board. Uh, game behavior? Yeah, here we are. Uh, where is it? Open it? No, privacy. Right, allow other players to challenge me. Whatever. Alright. There we go. We, figured, we found the preference. Um, join this. See, uh, I don't have my chat window on my computer here, so you're gonna have to tell me what thing I'm joining. I'm sure it's one of these, I just don't know which. It's probably this one, right? Oh, is that a challenge? Oh, our, I've gotta change all my stream settings here. Fine. Um... Fine, we'll turn this off, turn that off. Okay, I can see the challenge now. Um, can I still see it this way? Okay. There we go. Alright. Um, there we go. It's a French defense. Play, I don't know what you call this. We'll play it. Um, why didn't I do the Queenie 2 French? That could have been more fun. Alright. Well, Ace Rook plays this, so it can't be that bad. Um, okay, and then it's like this, right? And I forget if there's two ways that this gets played here, but I think think this is okay? Um, I think I can take here. He takes, I take. And I think this is how it goes. I could be wrong. I could just be making this up. But yeah, if Ace Rook plays the winner, it can't be too bad. Um, hmm, okay, wait, I should develop my knight, I guess? That's not a knight, this is a knight. Why is the king backwards? Why not? We set up the board wrong and we just had to play this way. This is what happens when you set up the board incorrectly, is you have to play it out. Um in the actual official rules of chess that if you do set up the board wrong um, you are doomed to play it out that way. At least if you get so far into the game and then the TD and the players and such haven't noticed. Um, so, okay. What's going on here? I did not expect this. Oh, okay, that makes some sense. Still, I don't know. I don't know how sound this is for black. I think we've refuted the French guys. Unless I hang something, which I think I did. Um, 
But, you know, other than the hanging material, uh, the French has been refuted. Okay, let's try this. How bad can it be? I think I'm sacking material here. I think. Um... Hmm. Mm hmm. Right. So, okay, now how do I attack? Um. Okay. Let's get a passed pawn if we can. I don't think we can. Okay, I did not expect that either. Um, this is not a terrible square for my knight. Though maybe it's not a good one. Yeah, this silly queen is protecting things, so... You know, there's only so much we can do. Um, yeah, I totally don't see his threat of trying to, like, trap my queen and stuff. Um, don't see that at all. Um, but yeah, I think I gain a tempo this way, and then I just race my pawn up the edge of the board. Mm. I think it really does go that way. So, let's try it. See how far we get. Right, and then our queen just goes back. Because queens move backwards. Okay, that's also weird. Oh, that's him attacking my pawn. Okay, fine. The pawn is lost. Not fine. Okay. I should develop. And not obsess every time I'm losing material. Um, that would have been a really nice pawn to hang on to, though. Oh, I can't even take this. Yuck. Okay. Well, I am just lost in every sense of the word. Um, let's try this, because I don't believe I'm lost. Once he takes that, with check, then we'll know that we're lost. I didn't think that was check. Yeah, no, if I take that, he forks my uh, king and bishop. So, even so, giving away the pawn with check was possibly not my brightest move. I'll have to tell Acerick that the win of war has been refuted. Yeah, because it's not working. Um, so that, that just means that the opening's refuted. Uh, okay, we'll take this, I guess. And take it again, because... You know, why not? Oh, I can't retreat my queen here. Not like you're trying to make threats. Um, okay. This is ugly. Ay, ay, ay. Can't believe I'm doing that, but it's actually my best move here. Okay, take my pawns. You take my pawns, I take your pawns. Fair is fair. Okay, whoops, that's not where I intended to move. That's okay. I'll actually block with the rook.
Maybe he won't notice. Oh, he noticed. All right, we'll give him the win. Yep. All right, looks like he got it. We tried, though. Good game. Well played. Um, only slightly not sound on my part. Let me see if I could crop this better to so you don't have to see like the top menu and stuff. Okay, we're gonna crop off a few more pixels than we normally do. Um, wait, why does that not work? Oh, that's the wrong crop. Um, okay, we'll increase our crop here. 40 pixels instead of 20. That must look weird. Can I reduce that back down to 30 or something? I just don't like it that it shows the top menu. We'll fix that. Okay, I think that's... no. Yeah, I think that'll do. So you don't have to see the top menu. We could all look at the game. Um, I think that's fine. Yeah, fun house chess is challenging. Don't try it at home. Although if I really wanted to make this confusing, I would like horizontally flip the stream and you guys would think like my mouse was doing really weird things. Alright, Queen's Gambit accepted. Why did I play that? Why did I play a QGA? Wait, can I transpose into a Slav this way? Not that I know that either, but can I do that? Uh, let's try for it. Okay. I think this is perfectly sound-ish. Uh, bishop e7? Castle? Yeah, this looks fine. I can even undermine the queen side here. Oh, a6 and b5 is just good, good for black. Oh, I could have just played b5 there? I thought that was the thing where my rook gets trapped. But no, I've already played... I'm confusing that with a different line. I'm confusing that with... I don't even know what. Um, but there's a line where black aggressively tries to hold on to the pawn. But I guess black doesn't play a6 in that line. Um... <laughs> Okay, like that's the least active square you could possibly find for that knight. Oops, that's my pawn. Let's go here. And if he chases me around, I'll just gain tempi. He'll probably try this. Um, yep, who called it? Who called it just like few seconds ago. Now he's going to try to find some way to dislodge the knight. Meanwhile, I'll be trying to do productive things here. Um, okay, he might actually be dislodging my knight. Alright, fine. But you're not going to checkmate me. I'm not letting the mate happen right there. Yeah, you're right, the knights are inverted. Sorry about that. I should try to fix that. I mean, yeah, it's valid, but I mean, why would you have the knights inverted, though? It doesn't seem to, like, help you viewers understand what's going on when I invert the pieces like that. 
Also, we set up the board wrong. You see, like, this corner here? That one over there is uh, the wrong color. Alright, so... Either there, maybe the board's miscolored. I haven't thought about that. Um... Wait, am I just... No, I'm not winning material. It looks that way, but it is not. Because his knight defends his bishop. Um, I could have just taken here, though. Because, like, last turn I had this defended. So, yeah, I could have done this. Um, my mistake. Even so, here it's not so bad. Yeah, this is my fun house board. I don't play on it too often, but it's good fun when we do have it out. Um, sometimes it does make the game a bit too challenging, though. Alright, so I messed up his pawn structure. Okay, this is almost a threat, except he's got the square defended, so I should be careful. Um, I'm trying to make threats, though. Alright. I wonder, maybe I can gain a tempo here. My bishop wasn't that useful anyway. It looked impressive, but it wasn't doing anything. So we'll take the knight pair and see if I can do something with it. Um, so my idea is to try to collect this guy here. Um, Hmm. I have to trade. That's a pity. So he's going to trap my knight. But that's okay. Okay, he's not going to trap it. That's not okay. Um. At least this way I get a pawn, right? No. Okay, now he traps it. Dang. Well played, sir. Um, I could try to squirm out of this, but it's not going to get me anywhere. Got to try it, though. Right, of course. Um, that was the problem with that move. Alright, well, I guess this is lost. Well played. Yeah, that's why I should have just sacked the knight instead of trying to hold on to it. But I'm not sure where this was lost. I don't know the queen pawn opening and how to play that sort of middle game very well. So I was just kind of adrift the entire game. Um, Alright, let's play a king pawn opening. Um, Alright, I was going to play my queen e2 French. Let's play it here. Down a tempo. Okay, and then check. Eh, check's not so great, but we're going to play it anyway. He blocks the bishop, and then we run. I'm waiting for that bishop to block the check. There it is. Alright, does he move the bishop forward, or... Um, nope, that's not moving the bishop forward. 
All right, so I get the bishop pair. I can play this. I can certainly play this. Let's not forget to castle, though. Forgetting to castle could be bad. Okay, so here... I... Hmm. Dang, I have to let him take that, and he gets a free tempo on my queen. This is not great. It's okay, because I've not lost anything, but this is really not good. Hmm. I don't know, this seems survivable, I guess. I'm trying not to give this away for free and trying not to give away a million tempi. I think at least at one of those two objectives I should have some rate of success. Oh, of course. All right. I see your check. Will there be anything else? Right, so of course he hits my queen. Um, hmm, I don't know about this move. It looks maybe playable, exploiting this exposed knight, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, but now I'm giving away the pawn. Not that. This pawn. After I said I'm not giving away the pawn, I gave it away. Why did I do that? And on top of that, I can't immediately castle without giving away my bishop. So... I'm sure he's debating whether or not it's worth taking the... Okay. That just doesn't make sense. Like, he had a way to capitalize on my blunder, and instead he just made things more complicated. Um, right, so now I can just hit this knight, right? And my whole position comes together all of a sudden. Although I guess the knight can safely retreat um, and covers that square, you know, which might be worth covering. If I had a guess, you might want to defend that square, um, but okay. Oops, this is a queen pawn game. I knew that. Alright, so... Oh, I don't typically play this, do I? Okay, let's play Queen's Gambit Decline, because I forgot where the pieces were. Okay, so now I can play a Nimso. It's a position I've played from the other side quite a bit, not from this side, so... I might learn a thing or two from this perspective. Um... Okay, I don't think that's playable. I know it's not theory, but I think it's also bad. Or am I just making that up? This has to be good for black, right? I mean, look at my amazing pawn center, which is going to crumble in a second or two, but for now it looks pretty amazing. Um, okay, let's hit this bishop. 
I sense my opponent doesn't know this opening any better than I do. So I might not learn anything from it, after all. Um, that's too bad. Wait, can I do queen takes pawn? Is this just a clean pawn? This looks like a clean pawn. It smells like a clean pawn. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but... That's... This is me taking a pawn. I guess he exchanges, uh... He takes my center pawn or something, but I'm hitting his knight. Have I trapped the knight? No, not quite. His knight survives to another day. Um... I'll continue attacking this knight. Because I don't think he can take this. <clears throat> I don't think you can take... Uh, never mind. We tried. Alright. So... Okay, here... Um, I don't know, I guess I have to move my queen somewhere. Um... Here, I guess. I'm not really sure if it matters where I move the queen. I don't think that quite worked for my opponent. I'm not sure how he missed that. Like, when your opponent gives away a free pawn, um, best case you're winning a pawn, worst case your entire position crumbles. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to protect my pawn here. This one. Um, I'm just saying, put some effort into figuring out whether it's actually free or not. Here we go. King March. Because why not? What could possibly go wrong in this position? My king looks safe. He can take care of himself. Oh, that check. Oh, that's just mean. All right. Maybe I should develop my bishop. Yeah, this should probably go here. He's gonna check me somehow, I just don't see what he's doing. But, uh, bishop here looks reasonable. Plus five to minus three and ten moves. Ten! I can do better than ten. I can go to minus three in like two moves. I've got that skill. Alright, so... Um... Whoa, this doesn't actually mate. It's a cool threat, though. He's gonna block my queen, and I'm gonna run away. And I'm not threatening anything at all here. 
How does he actually get out of this? Or does this just win? Um, no, his king can run forward. It's kind of sad, but it is a path out. Right, and then this is check, and this is check, and I don't need to calculate any further than that. Though I can. Nice. Okay, we got a rematch offer on the table, guys. Gotta take it. King pawn. Okay. Queen e2 French. There we go. I remember to play it this time. Ooh, we have a queen move. I don't know this one. I mean, I know I'm kind of messing around, but I honestly don't know Queen E7. But it is book. I I know that much. I just don't know how to play this. Um. I'm gonna play this timid little pawn D3 thing. <laughs> really? Is that a move? Just putting all the pawns on the light squares? Is that how we play this these days? Alright. Mm, not that bishop, this one. Alright, so this looks fun. Oh, am I going to castle that way? If I'm castling queenside, that makes this all worth it. Um, and he gives me a free tempo. Very nice. Okay, so how best to slice this open? I mean, since we're playing with fire and all... Um, I don't think it gets any better than this position. Okay. So the threat is to take on c8 and then to take on e6. Not necessarily in that order. Right, so we're still taking c8. This hits the queen, um, so he's probably going to respond to that somehow. And then let's take this. And then how do I take on e6? Queen takes or knight takes? Or do I do knight f5? Yeah, knight f5 looks awesome. Why not play knight f5? Oh, okay, he's got a check. I'm not afraid of it. Oh, that just hangs my knight. Oops. Alright. Well, that was a fun opening. Okay. I think we learned something from that, but I don't know what, but it was definitely something. All right. Um, okay, so I guess the thing I learned is that I should know the theory a little bit better. We found a hole in my tournament opening repertoire, so I'll fix it up at some point. Um, better that we find that online than we find it in a real tournament game, so... Um, yeah, we'll certainly take the loss. Losses are educational. 
even in this format. Um, okay, so this maybe? That's too ambitious, isn't it? Um, oops, okay, well we're playing it. I accidentally moved it, but it looks okay. But I, it's not my top choice. Um, hmm. Okay. Do I use chess stack exchange? Rarely. I rarely use it because I know everything about chess, so what questions would I ask? Um, no, but honestly, I just... I know some people use it um, both from an information theory perspective um, and just because they have questions about chess strategy and tactics and stuff. I don't often use it, though. Answering questions? Oh. Well, I guess you could do that. I don't know if people would impart... If, I don't know if my wisdom would be imparted upon these people. I don't know if they'd fully grasp just the sheer genius that is my chess brilliance. It'd be, you know... Okay, I guess we should take this. Um, but no, you're right that um, if people are asking questions there, it could be fun to try to answer them. Um, so we can pin this pawn, right? And then just take it. And take back and then move the other rook over. And we've got a fun bishop versus knight end game ahead of us. Um, hmm. Oh, that's clever. Okay. I should do something about that fork. Um, this is the best I can do. As fun as setting traps may be, um, I really need to play a good move there. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, my chances in these various endgames are probably best with this here. And since there is no back rank mate, I can throw this in. And right, but I wasn't so concerned about that one move tactic. Like, unless there's something to follow that up, I think I'm okay here. Normally the bishop's better, but his activity is really strong here. So, this might be a win for the knight. Um, I say to try to lull him into a sense of security that I can exploit. Um... No, that was not intentional for me to do that, but I thought that he would manage to get his king active and deal with this passed pawn before he chased after my pawns. Um, going after material and doing pawn pushes can be slow here. Um, except this pawn was, like, excellently poised already. So, yeah, I wonder how he's going to get out of this. There might be a way. This is not trivial. Okay, so I can take this. He takes back and then I promote, right? This is what I was calculating on my opponent's time. Okay, I did calculate it correctly. Still, that was not the easiest calculation. Okay, queen e2 French. Maybe this time I won't hang... Oh. Oh, that's good. That's another good way to play this. Um, but here I think white does get to play d4. And this is like an Italian, I think. 
and I've played like a trillion Italian openings, so I might have some expertise I can use here. Um, okay, let's castle long. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing in this position. Um, maybe if I play knight e5, things will work out somehow. Just It feels like my position's very loose. Um, and that I'd want my pieces on other squares than where they're currently at. But I have a lot of piece activity. Um, can I just take on d5? No, because he's got that check. Well, well, take on d5, takes the bishop, I take back, he takes my knight, I do queen h5. Yeah, I can take this. Otherwise, this is just an equal position, but no, we do it this way. Um, and now I take d5 again. Uh, wait. Yeah, I take d5 here, and I'm winning a pawn. I think. Or at the very least, I'm getting some activity against my opponent's king. Um, so let's celebrate that. I gained one free tempo this whole game. There it is. That's my free tempo. And now I can play f4. Um, my position's okay. Nothing to write home about, but nothing bad either. Oh, why did I not... S well, no, this is okay. All these intermezzos do work out in my favor. Um, right, so now I have to take, which is disgusting, but it's playable. Ha! <laughs> That's innovative. Okay, how do I rescue this? Um, I think a4 is the way to go. No, a4 just drops the pawn instantly. Maybe a3. Right, so... My notion is that even if he wins a pawn, that's okay. Um, I just need to activate my pieces here. Okay, so he got my A-pawn, but I got a tempo. So maybe I can do something with the tempo. Also, I might be immediately collecting the pawn back, so maybe this is okay, too. Um, ick. We'll try this. This looks spooky. Oh boy. This is spookier than I thought. Um... I'm completely confused at this point. But maybe I'm getting the pawn back? Uh, 
Um, right, so he's got that, but I've got this check. Hmm, I have to gambit. That sucks. Oh, he's not forcing me into it, though. Okay. I'll try to activate the pieces with what time I have remaining here. I'm not winning this race. There's a very good chance that I'm losing this race, but I'm definitely not winning it. Okay, now I'm coming out ahead. Ick. I think we got this, guys. We got this. Woo! All right. Yeah, I wonder. Um, you people have heard of the chess programming wiki. I wonder if that can be rescued in the form of um, the Stack Exchange. Like, if a lot of that knowledge could be transferred into questions and answers that just Stack Exchange natively hosts. Maybe all that knowledge won't be lost after all. Um, I still feel like I'm not playing this right. But maybe this is okay. Maybe this is how you're supposed to play um, the Nimzo. Oh, the chess programming wiki, as in um, how you do software development or programming for chess. Okay, so we're going to take this knight. Not how I expected my expo opponent to respond, because now I get this in for free. And if I can just push my pawn up to g4... Things will be lovely. He's not letting me do that for free, though. Yeah, it is rather large. It contains pretty much all of chess programming knowledge. I don't know how much that is, but it's a lot of information. Also, I don't know how it would transfer from a wiki format into the Stack Exchange format. Um, it, that presents considerable challenges, too. But so far, I haven't heard of any plans of anybody trying to save it, other than it would be nice if somebody saved it. Because there's a lot of information there. The Internet Archive will keep a copy, I'm sure of anything it visits, but um, having a more formal backup plan and better organization would probably be a good thing for 
people. Yeah, I have to assume it's mostly text. So, okay, that's not the move I was most concerned about, not by a mile. Um, did I do this check? This seems kind of nice. Oh, right, he doesn't have to exchange. Captures and chests are not mandatory. Forgot about that. Um, ooh, I don't know if I want to liquidate that way. This one looks so... No, this is no good. Um, how about the other rook? Uh, I want to exchange some pieces. We're exchanging this one. So everything's going to center around this pawn that's a big target in the center of the board. I'm going to try to uh, hem in his bishop. Um, all right, fine. I guess we'll protect this if we must. Yeah, we've only got a few months to save it. Because Wikispaces is closing, and they were so kind as to host all the content. Um. So he's got two rooks attacking this pawn, and I have one bishop defending it. And one bishop's enough to hold off two rooks, so that's pretty economical. Okay, he sees my threat and addresses it, so... I guess I'll prevent him from checking me on the back rank while I try to come up with a plan. I guess I go back here. Um, I can't believe I had to entomb my own bishop just so I could get this attack. Now he's got to retreat his rook, which allows me to freely move in. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, anybody could create a copy of the site. Anybody could choose to host it. Um, but the hard part is going to be copying the site. Like, I don't know how you're going to manage to download all the pages and it not be considered a denial of service attack. That's what has me confused. It's like, how are we going to find some way to back it up that's not considered an attack on the site? Alright, so... I guess I move this over one. And then I push. End games are hard, but I think I've been playing this one pretty well ever since the queen trade. And I think I've been playing decently in the positions leading up to the queen trade, so. Yeah, we're gonna play this and trade there. Um, his bishop can only be on one diagonal at a time. Um, hang on. Let's use the king. 
Our king has not seen much use this end game, and now that he's got nothing to oppose it, we might as well make the best use of our king. Okay, and then this will stop him from checking me. Okay. Um, that rook move is a very clever move, though. All right, so um, let's trap his rook. I'm just trying to avoid like falling to some sort of funhouse attack here. But I think I see everything. Um, oh, I've got a check. Not that it's any good, but I have it. Um, okay, fine, take my pawn. All right. Oh, right. Uh, this is a mess. I'm walking into a pin, but the resulting endgame is winning, so... Um... It's not that bad. Oh, it actually does challenge my end game a bit. Um. I don't think I can take ooh. Actually, yeah, I can take this uh, pawn here. That's a free pawn. My attack comes through first. So I did have that after all. That was very well played. Wow. All right. We'll take it. Okay. I wonder if this is playable for white. And now I just take the center, right? I'm not sure I see what he's up to here. This looks like just an improved French for white. Because black doesn't get to play c5 so early. And without c5, what's black doing? My only regret here is that, I don't know, maybe I should try this. My development is a bit challenged. Oh, that's a free tempo. Holy moly. I can't believe he's giving me that. Um, yeah, no, I'll definitely take a free tempo here. If you want to push that pawn another time, I wouldn't object to that either. Um. Oops. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. Well, no, I might be okay. Yeah, no, there was a tactic there that got pretty messy. Um, let's just play this. Just completely suspend this attack along the long diagonal here. Um... Okay, and then let's exchange here, and I have the center file. So this is just better for white? 
A good endgame book. Um, Silman's endgame course is pretty good. Not gonna lie. A lot of people are gonna recommend that too, so, like, I'm not sure that my recommendation adds much, but it's a good book. It covers a variety of um, endgames, uh, varying complexities. Um, but I know there's tons of other good endgame books too. Oh, uh, Silman's Endgame Course. I guess I would recommend just like go to a library, take a look, peruse whatever books they have at a library if you have access to one. Um, Because I know I've discovered most of uh, the chess books that I like just by visiting libraries. Um, you're correct, Mick. Uh, we just set up the board wrong and the TD made us play it this way. But yeah, the light square should be in the lower right instead of the lower left. Um, I'm trying to think if there are other endgame books. Like, if you were to name some, I could tell you, like, my opinion on them. The Silman one was good, though. Um, like, it covers a wide variety of strengths of endgames. Um, so, um, possibly it might be above or below your level. Um. You might not fully benefit from it, but there's, I think, Albertson, if I remember right. Albertson, I think, wrote some books about, like, bishop endgames and rook endgames. Um, they are pretty fun. Okay, how do I win this? I have to get my queen out of the way so I can double the rooks. Oh, there's the Mammoth Book of Chess by Graham Burgess. Okay, this just wins a queen. Um, that's the queen. Okay. So it looks like I'm learning a lot about this French and various ways to beat it. Um, okay, can I remember to play King Knight out this time? Play stuff I'm more familiar with. Oh, hang on. I don't know this, so we're going to play this. Because I'm thinking I might learn something about this. I'm thinking this should be something I've prepared as a surprise weapon for tournaments, so I should try to learn it. Um, but also I think it's sound, right? It's not like this opening's refuted. Uh, the Trompowski, that is. Um, how do I hold down the center pawn, though? Or do I just cattle in this up? And my knight looks really loose in the center. Okay, he stops me from playing an immediate d5. But now I can play an immediate g5? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay. Well, that's not good. All right. Um, that was part of the plan. Just gambit away the material so he doesn't suspect when you actually set a trap. He'll just think it's a gambit and he won't take it. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dvorotsky is pretty awesome, but it's a very difficult book. I've tried to read it. Or Dvorotsky is how people conventionally pronounce that. It's all Russian, so I don't think either one of those is correct. Um, I don't know the actual pronunciation, though. Oh, Averbach's Chess Endings? That Averbach, being Grandmaster, probably wrote a good book. Um, being one of the world's best uh, grandmasters, if I remember right. Um, 
hmm, do I suffer in silence or do I resign this or set a trap or what do I do here? Let's try setting a trap. Okay, I'm not going to get to set traps. He's got this. Never mind. Okay, that'll show me to try to play a Trompowski. Um, another Queen E2 French. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this Queen E2 French thing. If he's seeing something, I'm not seeing it. Oh, there we go. Queen e2 French again. Okay, so I can take this. And do I exchange queens? Um, let's just develop a piece. And just continue development. Okay, this looks fine, I think. Do I fianchetto just because I'm too stubborn to move my queen? It seems like a thing I would do. Yeah, we're gonna try it. How bad can it be? So now we do the typical French bishop attack thing. That's a free tempo. I'll take a free tempo. If there's any more free tempo he wants to give me, I'll take them. Um, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure I wanted to work on d1 anyway. Let's go over to c1. Oh, that protects the d5 square. Oh, that sucks for me. Um, I guess we'll push d5 and see if I lose it or not. I think I get d5 in without losing material. Right, so he does that to protect the bishop. And now we just double his pawns. And then we just win an endgame. Easy. <laughs> Except for the difficult parts, which all lie ahead. But yeah, he's got the bishop pair. He's got doubled pawns. No, that's not doubled. That's just an isolated pawn. Um, I still like my chances here. Right. I couldn't avoid that, so I just let it happen right away. Um, okay, do I allow rook d2? Peace activity does mean a lot in these endgames, but here, here it might be better. Hmm. Yeah, if he pushes this pawn, it becomes a bigger target. So I'm actually going to run away, deny rook d2, double rooks on the e-file, and see if I can win this otherwise drawn endgame. Right, so that was predictable. Um, that was not as predictable. Um, that's really risky. 
Okay, so let's proceed with the obvious move here and see what he does. Okay. And then we'll go back with the knight. Um, it takes some space. I really want to push f4, but it's just super risky for me to do that, so I'm pushing this first. Take away the knight's advanced squares. I mean, yes, he does have rook d2, but um, I have to take some chances somewhere here. All right, I've got an advanced pawn. It's not past, but it's pretty far advanced. Still denied his piece's advanced squares to land on. Um, we're going to gain a tempo because he's going to go back. Okay, he didn't go back. I'm still going to try to gain a tempo here. I'm going to be stubborn about this. If he pushes b5, I retreat my knight. If he doesn't push b5, then we try to eject the rook. Um... And then we step the knight back toward the center. That's an interesting play. Check. So there might be positions where I can sacrifice this knight. Um, but none of that matters since I got another free tempo. Uh, and another free... no, that's not free. Alright, let's go back up here. Oh, I have knight! Never mind. Not saying it, because he's going to fall right into this. Yeah, I have this fork. I had that last turn, too. So now I just win the exchange. And then... Well, I can't exactly push here. Um, let's cover my bases again. Um, and just slowly march up without hanging anything. There we go. That's a pawn break. We'll just, it's just going to take like five more pawn breaks like that until I have a passed pawn. Um, check. Alright, let's take this. Enough of this silliness. I think I can win this one. I could be mistaken, but I think I've got something here. I think I have winning chances. Um, he says, as he goes to collect like two or three more pawns. Um, all right, fine. We have to demonstrate some technique here. Right, so we gotta go protect this rook. I 
I should have switched up the order in which I took those two pawns. Although here it might not even matter. The point is I left my king open to a skewer if I'm not careful. Um, okay. No threats whatsoever here. Yep. Definitely not threatening anything. That was a good game. Alright. Hmm. I wonder. Well, no, he always placed the C pawn. Yeah, why don't I try playing um, this here? Let's see what we get. Does he still push his C pawn? He does. Okay. So, I could play just a straight up Nimzo without having to play d5. Actually, I could play Queen's Indian defense. This is a fun one to learn, too. Okay. Copy that. He didn't copy it. Uh, I guess a castle? This is a good one to know and not a good one to improvise on. Um, I've gotten beaten severely in this in both blitz and, and slow time controls. So this is the first time in many years that I've played a Queen's Indian defense with either color. Um, but this can't be bad, right? So I've defended my knight, and now I kick the bishop, and just... Hmm. That's a free pawn. Unless I'm really missing something. Because this... Um, that's not how knights move. Yes, yeah, so this defends my bishop, and I had this square covered twice. So, that looks like I just collected a free pawn in broad daylight. Um, I could be mistaken. Alright, well, uh, oh. <laughs> that is one hell of a fork. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess I'll return the pawn. I'm possibly giving away much more than a pawn here if I'm not careful. All right, so I think I had this covered. Because that's check. And although this isn't check, this is me taking something and making a direct threat. I guess though he keep, we just keep exchanging pawns, um, and my position just kind of sucks here. Um, right, so I'll defend my pawn. It looks like the free pawn I collected I'm returning in exchange for a completely drawn endgame. Assuming he liquidates everything. So I can't do any better than draw this, but I could do a lot worse. I know what sorts of things he's looking at here. Like that. I wasn't totally convinced that was a reasonable way to go here, though. Because now I have activity, and he doesn't, so... Well, I didn't think he'd do that. Oh, wow. Really? That's sharp. I wouldn't play that so quickly if I were you. 
I would hesitate a lot more before playing it, but then probably play it anyway. But it's much too sharp. Like, here I've got threats too. I've got threat one and threat two and three and stuff. Yeah. So I'm maybe checkmating here, maybe checkmating there. If the rook moves up one, I just go back a rank um, like that. So. Um, but for the time being, he is winning a pawn. But yeah, I don't think that works. I'm still super curious what happened in that opening, though. I do want to go back and look at it. We've got another challenge. Now, I need to go look at what happened in this opening. Um, let's also add that to our Lee Chess Insights. But so here, b6, Queen's Indian. Oh! Bishop a6 is a thing, but it's not good. This is the master's database, too. But bishop a6 got played. That's really weird. Um, d5? Really? d5 is aggressive. Uh, bishop b4 is the most popular. Bishop e7 is far less popular. So this is the book move. Uh, continues, bishop g2, castle, castle, takes, takes, d6. Apparently this is how I'm supposed to play this. Um, and white's chances of getting a passed pawn are slim at best. And black takes the center with this bishop, and takes the light squares in the center. Okay, white forcibly regains the light squares, but yeah, this sort of thing looks excellent for black. Um, but I see there's only one game that goes that deep. So white plays a5, um, and black has won this several different ways. One with queen e7. Black managed to win somehow, but black scores the best with this move. And no matter what white plays, black's winning this. Or, I guess, drawing. Um, but yeah, that looks uncomfortable for white. Alright, we've got a challenge for a five-minute game. So this is why I don't generally open for challenges, because like everybody challenges me. Um, but, let's see. 1b4. Well, that's definitely a move. Actually, that's g4. No, that's b4. We're going to play d5. Um, okay, and he can double my pawns. Why don't I toggle on the stockfish score? I don't know, I just don't find it that interesting. Have you heard about the new AI that's out there, the Leela Zero chess engine? Um, apparently it's gaining tons of ELO every day. And people say it plays more like a human. I don't make that claim, but people say it. A lot of people do. But what makes it interesting is it's a self-learning AI that just offers a new perspective. Although I doubt that that new perspective is very different. Um, it is noticeably different, at least in that it makes mistakes. Um, it doesn't have the same search capability, but it also... Uh, I don't know. It plays a number of really aggressive moves um, that you won't find most engines playing. So, anyway, check it out. Leela Zero. Um, so, at least for the time being, I think that's the most interesting engine to have doing analyses. Um, right, so, I say this pawn's overextended. Okay. 
I have a good... No, that doesn't win a knight. It's still a good move, but I was about to make a claim that I'm just winning material. Um... Or I'm totally not, but... Either way, um, my pieces are becoming active, and exchanging for whites, not so great pieces. I'm sorry, white's exchanging for my undeveloped pieces is the point I'm trying to make. So I'm getting all my pieces out for free. Although here, white probably plays d3, and that blunts my bishop, and I don't know what I'm doing. Right, there's d3. Um, and I still don't know what I'm doing. Maybe knight g4 and pushing e5, but this pushes e5 with less risk. So, okay, we'll push e5 either way, because I need to make some kind of imbalance to try to win this. Um, but yeah, somebody who spends a lot of time uh, working with stockfish. I just don't find its scores very interesting to look at. I find its moves that it comes up with far more interesting than its score. Um, so if there's a position where I don't think it's going to find any interesting moves, then I don't don't bother putting it on. Oh wait, I could do this. That traps my knight. Let's go back this way. At least this way my knight has a future. Um. <laughs> really? You're doing this? Um, that's sharp. I'm not sure how good it is. That's a really bold way to play this game. I mean, yeah, I guess White's trying to win this. Okay, and in that vein, he's actually developing his pieces. But, um, two can play this piece developing game. I've completely blocked the center. And I'm trying to maneuver my pieces around it. But this rook here on c8, or f8, still puts up resistance um, on this side of the board. So I don't I'm not in a big hurry to exchange it. Um <laughs> I was tempted to sacrifice here, and then thought better of it. Let's keep the queens on for a little bit, shall we? If only because I think this might actually be useful for me, and I need a tempo to do it. Okay, so he's worming his pieces around the board, or winding them around the board. I stopped the knight move, uh, this here. But he does have another way to hit this pawn. Uh, but I like this. Yeah, I like that. Um, he can make a threat. Uh, I'll have to find a way to defend against that. Oh. Okay, he's trying to power his bishop through there. Hmm, so this is something. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks interesting. So if we trade queens, then this becomes a real threat. Um, it's kind of easily dealt with this very instant. Um, but in the instance after this instant, it's not so easy to deal with. Wait, this is just a free pawn. This is another free pawn. Alright, and we're two pawns to the good. Um, 
two past pawns to the good. That's not too shoddy. If he sacks an exchange, yeah. Sacking the exchange there makes a good deal of sense, but it's not quite good enough because now I defend my knight. And even if, yep, my opponent does collect the pawn in the center, um, actually he doesn't. Well, maybe he does. Maybe I have to let him take it. Maybe I don't have much choice here. Let's take this tempo first. Which, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm giving him the pawn. Um, oh, he doesn't want it. Okay. How about this? How about this? And this? Alright, this turned around pretty quickly, didn't it? So now I can just hunt the king. As long as I don't drop my rook, I'm doing fine. Alright, check. Oh, okay, I get to take the pawn. Does he concede yet? Or are we playing this out? Okay, we can... Uh, he concedes that. Fair enough. Good game. Um, let's play a couple more. Oh wow, there's a lot of people streaming here. I guess I'll wrap up soon. They must all be playing in the monthly horde arena. That must be why this is so popular. It couldn't possibly be because of the simul or the daily crazy house. Although that's still coming up in 22 minutes. Um, yeah, they must be playing in the monthly horde arena. That's probably why we got five people play. Oh, whoops, I missed the challenge. Sorry about that. Um, so I don't really know the Queen's Gambit declined that well. This is a Queen's Gambit declined, right? No, this is a French. This is... No, this is a Queen's Gambit declined. What am I talking about? Of course, this is a QGD. Um, so I was saying, I don't know this opening particularly well. I've played it with white a bit, but um, all I know is black seeks peace activity here. And typically gets it. Do I... Is this a Tarash? I don't know. Semi-Tarash? Something or other. Taking this. We're kicking the bishop. I know I... I think I'm not supposed to do this. But I don't see what's wrong with it either. Okay. This would trap my rook, except his bishop can't hit my rook. I've certainly lost a rook or two in the day to this tactic, you know, when he actually has the bishop back here to do that. Um, but here he doesn't have that tactic, so... Oh, okay. I see. Uh, so I move my queen up here, right? And that way both of my knights are not pinned. Okay, that... Rook move is typical of the Queen's Gambit. Less typical when there's a pawn straight in your face right there. Um, right. Okay. Um, whoa! Whoa! That was fast! Hang on! Like, everything's hanging here. I'm gonna need a minute to figure out what's going on. Um, that's a lot of things hanging. Okay, let's simplify that. Oh, really? Okay. I guess he could sack his bishop 
to get my knight. But either way, I've come up with a free pawn here. Right, so there's the bishop's sack. Um, now you're just messing with me. <laughs> now you're just messing with me, buddy. Oh, I actually don't win material here. Funny how that works. Or rather, it does not. Um, but okay. I've got enough pawns. I'm pretty sure I can come up with an idea or two here. Alright, guess we'll have to take it. Shazam! Alright. Well, it's been a fun couple games here, fellow, but... Oh, hang on. I almost fell for that. <sighs> Alright, we'll play chess. Pinball's fun, but... Yeah, today chess it is. Alright, how do I defend against forthcoming threats on the rank? Um... Does my king have to run for it? Is that what I have to do here? Like, this is not an easy problem. All right. I guess I'll just try to promote. And just take this blast to the face here. I should have pushed h4, though. h4 would have been the safer way to go about this. Right, so my king's just going to run. And the notion is that even though he has a discover check, it's not good for a win. It might be good for a draw. Actually, um, bishop takes... I might just sack the exchange here. No. I can't quite afford that. Although it's very close to being affordable. Right. Wait, no, if I sack an exchange, I lose a tempo. I can't give away the tempo here. Oh, but he's got a discover check that I have to deal with, so I have to play this. I have no choice but to play that here. I should have opened with that instead of uh, a5. My bishop is completely useless on the other side of the board. Um, I got overconfident because all my pieces are on light squares. Um, hmm. I guess I'm doing this. I know not why. I guess my king runs. I might have sufficient counterplay to draw this, but it's super sketchy. Either way, I think this will be the last game. And we're going to go take a look at all our other masters and grandmasters and awesome people who are uh, playing games. Um, far more interesting than my own. Oh, I made it in one. You got me. Well played. Yeah. Okay, I thought this was the same guy, because he still played a Queen's Gambit. I know it's a pretty popular opening. So, okay, d5, white's still better here, but I walked into a mate. Um, best move was rook a6. Oh, that makes sense, so I don't get mated right away. Although, that just prolongs the agony. So when was I better here? Before I played bishop a6. Oh, okay. Yeah, bishop e6 just 
collecting the pawn back would have been perfectly fine. Although I'm confused, what if I play this um, bishop e6 and he instead just goes down here? I guess then I have this rook to block, and I'm okay. So, okay. Well, that was humbling. Um, I guess I'm still going to end it there. I really didn't need to push a5 or b4 here right away either. Like, this is such an easy win. Um, I should have just done this. And okay, yes, white has h3, and it's a long and prolonged battle, but I'm clearly better here. If anybody's winning this, it's me. But that's cramsplaining, or so I hear. It's the turn that's been come up for, for that, of the... I was winning, how did I lose this, I was better, and it happens to the best of us. Um, but you have to play the game in order to win it, and my head was just not in the game this last game. My head was thinking about, look at all the other awesome chess players who are doing great things. So, let's do some of that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. It's been fun, and we'll see you next time.